all right what's up guys so i am doing this video overall um in hopes on getting my plaque a lot sooner than uh you know what youtube wants to you know or i guess more so when they want to give me my plaque no nah, man it's like so i i overall did the math and based on the last strike that i got I will have to wait until next year, you know, and I'm, I'm not trying to do all that. You know, I'm seeing all these other different content creators upload the same amount of content or same type of content that I've uploaded and they still get their plaques. I don't see what's wrong with me getting my plaque. I even said that I will pay for my plaque if it came down to it. I think I seen online where they was like, if you want to get your, or not um, plaque, but silver play button, whatever it wants to be called. But no, I did look online and they was all like, if uh, p when people do get a plaque and then they want to get an additional plaque, it's $150. Fam, I'll pay the $150. That's where I'm at right now with this plaque where it's like, I am willing to pay for it. But to me, it's like, I shouldn't have to, but at the same time, I'm like, this is the one thing that I felt that, like, the the like the one achievement, like, there's so many different achievements that I've gained, you know, whether it's, like, hitting my first million on a video, uh, you know, or the first view, first 1,000 views, like, you know, certain amount of subscribers, like, just the amount of videos I've uploaded, like, there's a lot of different things I've accomplished with uh, content creating, but I'm like, this is the one accomplishment where it's, like, Fam, like, I can actually hold the accomplishment in my hand. It's not, like, something that's, like, a notification that just, like, it pops up. Or I get, like, something in my uh, email, like, oh, yeah, it's, like, you know, you uploaded your 1,000 video or 10,000 videos or whatever. It's, like, no, this is, like, an achievement where I can actually hold it in my hand. And I'm, like, not trying to ha give you guys, like, no sad, sobbing story and things. But it's, like, fam, I've never really, uh, like, you know, received any achievements in my life. Cars outside distracting me and stuff. But, anyway. I'm, I'm still locked in with the video but no it's like i've never received no achievements throughout my life like i think back when i was a kid i ain't never i think i was like well i got me some um academic uh achievements when um i was like in uh, middle school you know and i guess like if those achievements count that was all the way back when i was in middle school since then i ain't got no trophies i ain't got no plaques i ain't got nothing so I'm saying, like, this is the one, and then for, like, and that was, like, school stuff. Like, for me, I'm like, this is something that I got myself into, and I made the best out of it. There's a lot of people out there where it's like, they can't even say that they've hit a hundred subscribers. You know, where it's like, I see it as, like, I did something, like, a lot of people couldn't do, and I'm, like, not trying to throw them people under the bus or, like, make it seem like they ain't did nothing, but there's people that have tried to get to this number, and they've given up, they quit, like, you never hear about them and stuff, and then it's like, with me, I get to that um, point, then all of a sudden, it's like, it strikes that's holding me back, it strikes that's preventing me from getting my plaque, and to me, I just, I find that very messed up. You know, I find that very messed up where it's like I see creators that literally like and so some of the videos that they've taken down like it's been I remember it was a uh, uh, like a videos found on Reddit reaction video the pretty much the majority of the videos if not all the videos that they've taken down. No, and it has been all the videos that they've taken down. It's never been anything on my part. It's always been, like, if it was, like, a TikTok video, it was the audio. If it was a reaction video, it was the video that I was reacting to. It was never anything on my part. It was never anything that I said or did in the video. So I just find that. I find it is, like, okay, so there's somebody, you know, across the street robbing a bank. And then the cops, instead of going chasing down the uh, uh, suspect, they see me watching the whole thing go down. And then I'm the one getting arrested. What sense does that make? You know, and that's how I feel. Like, I feel like I'm being punished for content that's existed on YouTube for years. Like, the videos that they, especially the reaction videos, the videos that they've taken down from my channel that were reaction videos, it was videos that was up on YouTube for years. Videos that you can still find to this day. Like, there's, like, the one videos that they took down, it was, like, parkour reaction videos. And, or it was, like, a parkour fail reaction videos. You see a lot of different parkour fail videos. And I'm saying there's, like, channels that literally base themselves off of stuff like that the one video yeah videos i found on reddit um the reaction video to that it was like you can find a bunch of different videos where people are like oh videos i found on reddit 
Uh, it was a, a, a McJuggernuggets video. I remember they took down one of um, my reaction videos to his, but they still allowed his video to be up. And I, that's the thing where I'm all like, fam, I, I just find that very messed up. I'm not trying to like throw these guys under the bus, but I'm like, I find that very messed up where I see his video still up on YouTube. And he's most likely then got his plaques. I mean, if he hasn't, I'm like, he should get his plaques too. But I'm just saying, it's like, I just find that messed up where it's like, I get that close to getting a plaque. And so pretty much, so what had happened, like, because I would have gotten my plaque this year. And I know people are probably all like, so wait a minute, you got um another another guideline strike after you hit 100,000 subscribers? Yeah, pretty much. So it was, I can't even remember exactly when, but it wasn't too long afterwards. Like, it was right after I had hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, I remember I posted another, uh, voiceover video and when you watch the video, like there was nobody being harmed. There was nothing harmful being done. And as much as you two will want to say it, I'm like, okay, well, my thing is this, why do you guys allow so many other videos on YouTube where it's doing the same prank to people? I'm confused by it. But anyway, so I did a voiceover video where it was um, me like doing a voiceover of a dog video. But that's what was happening in the video was that the dog had got popcorn. If you guys don't know what popcorn is, pretty much a person puts an airbag into a uh, car seat and then they let the airbag go off. So yeah, pretty much that's what happened in the video. The airbag went off, dog went flying, but the dog was if it didn't land on its feet, yeah, it, uh, like it all, like obviously landed on the ground, but it got right back up. The dog was perfectly fine. If anything's embarrassed, like it's it, you know, yeah, it's like it was hurt to its core because it was embarrassed. But other than that, it was like it wasn't. If I my thing is this: if I would have watched that video prior beforehand and seen like the dog wasn't moving or it was like it broke its like leg or paw or something, I wouldn't have not done a voiceover video to that video. So that's why I'm all like, fam, it wasn't even like that video. I, and the thing is, is this, I believe the video, I think it's still on my uh, Instagram account. Yeah, it's like, no, you guys actually, because I did the voiceover on Instagram. So if you guys want to watch it, it's very well on my Instagram account. You be the judge. But to me, I just see it as like, that's messed up, you know? And it's like, there's so many different videos of being, um, of people being popcorn. It's like the one channel, um, or no, the TV show, and they have a YouTube channel, Ridiculousness. They got like a whole segment of people being popcorn. So, and then I believe it's a video on YouTube. So to me, it's like, I, I look at it as like, YouTube definitely has some favoritism going on. I feel like if I was a much more bigger content creator, like if I was like on that same level as like PewDiePie, um, and just had like millions of followers across all, they definitely would have sent me out my plaque. But because I'm a small content creator, most likely a lot of people ain't gonna see this video. Like if this was to reach like worldwide media coverage, like you got people over in like Beijing talking about it. You got people over in India talking about it. You know, you got people up in Canada talking about it, down in Mexico talking about it. Like I'm saying like worldwide, like Japan, China, like every, literally everywhere. I bet if that was the case, YouTube probably would have sent me my plaque. But since it's a situation where it's like the only people that are really going to be talking about this is like the very few supporters that I got, that's that's as far as I'm going to get. And I've been thinking like, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't really upload until next year. Then when I get my plaque, then yeah, just go back. And I'm like, I don't want to do that because I am a, an adult. I do got bills. I'm not trying to have it. It's a situation where I'm like, I'm behind on stuff because I'm trying to get my plaque. So it's just, it's a it's a very stressful situation. I'm like it it just seemed like it would be just so much relief if I just went got my plaque and went on about my business, you know. But yeah, YouTube they just being weird. But anyways, um, I did create a petition. Uh, if you guys want to sign it, you very well can. Um, I mean, if you guys don't, it's really up to you. At, um, at the end of the day. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk on this real quick. Let y'all know what the situation is. Still haven't got my plaque, you know, for those that have been subscribed to me for some time. But, yeah, man, I, I really don't know. And that's the thing that, like, concerns me. It's like, okay, next year it comes. Because I would have so I, I was going to say that in this video, and I just completely forgot because I've been, like, talking on a bunch of different stuff. But, anyways, but, um, no, I would have received my plaque next month. Because I think there was, like, the last strike that I got. I can't remember what video it was for. But, anyways, like, because they've been, they, they've taken down so many different videos from my channel. And then on top of me taking down videos myself, like, I hadn't had to take down well over 200 videos off of my channel. So, it's like, I, that's why I'm, like, another thing where it's like, I hadn't had to delete videos because of your guys' messed up like system where it's so-called claim i'm going against the guidelines but i'm like okay well what about all these other people that got millions of views with the same videos that's being uploaded 
I, I'm confused by that. But anyways, yeah, I would have received my plaque next month. But yeah, YouTube was like, nah, let's give him another strike. So he has to wait pretty much another, a whole year to get his uh, plaque. So either in May or June of next year, that's when I might uh, receive my plaque. But I here's what I personally believe. I think YouTube, they're going to find something wrong with some video or yeah, change up their guidelines once more. And then next thing you know, it's all like, oh, no, we got to take down this video and things. And then it's like, now nah, I got to wait an additional year. And it's like, I'm not trying to have that happen. I'm just trying to get my plaque and going about my business. It would, And the thing is this. It would be so much easier because I know people probably would ask me like if YouTube told you like of like let's say there is a video that you uploaded and uh, YouTube sent you a notification saying you had to take that video down. Would you give them problems over it? No. I have said that. I have put out that idea so many different times. If YouTube were to ever just approach me just on some normal stuff and be like, hey. There is a video that you uploaded on your channel. You have within this amount of time to take the video down. Otherwise, we're going to take it down and then you'll get a guideline strike. If Even if they just say, hey, can you take this video down? I would not have an issue about it. So I'm, I'm saying when you guys put me in a situation where I'm getting punished for content and it's like, fam, there's people uploading the same content. How are you going to look past all those people with literally millions of views, millions of subscribers uploading the same content and you're going down to the small content creator that literally has no effect on your guys' platform? I don't get that. But I, and then also on top of that, it's like I do look at it where it's like I did something for your guys' platform. Like it might be a small little corner, but I did something for your guys' platform. For him. If I managed to bring in over 100,000 subscribers and over 70 million views and um, put out thousands upon thousands of videos, fam, I deserve my plaque. I deserve it. All right. So anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Hopefully this speeds up the process even more. If not, then yeah, I'm just going to keep on making podcast episodes, TikTok videos, social media posts, any and everything possible just so I can finally see something like saying, hey, you're going to get your plaque. All right. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Like, subscribe if you are new to the channel and peace.